What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my Northampton vs Manchester United match preview. Now, the last week's been nothing short of disastrous for Manchester United. Three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back defeats, which, uh, yeah, it hasn't happened for Jose Mourinho in 12 years, I think, last time being when he was at Porto. So, it's not looking good at the minute. But, that being said, I fully do expect us to actually turn this around. There is... A stat that I was going on about, particularly in the final game, that has been proven now, and I was saying we don't seem to run. And that's been proven. In the Premier League, we are bottom for distance travelled across the board for the team. That, they, that literally calculates every single player, adds them all up into a team distance travelled and where lowest. So one good thing about that, well, the good thing about that is legit, it is extremely easy to change that, okay? It's just the effort that the players actually do on the pitch how, how much they press how much they close down how much they make runs to actually create space for others on and off the ball which has been a big issue for us so that is an easy thing to change so that's why i'm a little bit glad with that of course there's other issues deeper than that and uh yeah we'll see what happens with all that but in regards to northampton obviously they're a league one club now i never really like going up against lower league sides particularly away all right we haven't really been great at that throughout history even you know even in fergus era we weren't terrific at that there were sometimes hiccups here and there surprises and uh yeah like losses that you wouldn't expect so it's not great but that being said of course when it is a lower league club you're expected to win and <laughs> we definitely need one we cannot afford four losses on the bounce no matter what tournament it is we just can't so, there's been team news out uh, and also a bit of media speculation, but um, I think it's Manchester Evening News who generally are reliable when it comes to the lineup. Transfers, they're a bit debatable, but with the lineup, they're usually solid enough. And uh, they think that De Gea, Pogba, and Bailly will be rested, which I can understand. Like, De Gea, maybe not so much, but I suppose giving minutes to Romero, you know, is kind. Um, uh, again, like dropping your, f it must be horrible being a second choice keeper because there is no reason to use them if your first choice goalkeeper is fit. But the rumours are that he is going to be dropped. So uh, yeah, that's fair enough. Now, also because we've got a fully fit squad, bar Henrik Mkhitaryan and Luke Shaw, who are both rumoured to be out for about a week. I know there's some reports saying Shaw might be out for a bit longer, three weeks, but I think it's roughly about a week, maybe a few days now. So uh, they're the only two injuries. And because of that, Mourinho isn't going to be using any of the under-23 players or, you know, the under-21s or under-18s, whatever. Now, a lot of people will be saying this is because Mourinho doesn't use youth. But if you look, even under Louis van Gaal, who was praised for using all the youth players he had, legit, when he had a full, fully fit team or near enough a fully fit squad, he, he rarely used the youth. Rashford was the only one, and of course Mourinho is still using uh, Rashford in the thing. And this is proven in the FA Cup final. You know, uh, Cameron Borthwick-Jackson and um, Fosse Mensah had had a great end to the season, and they were both dropped in favour of Rojo, who just came back from injury, and Darmian, I think, or Valencia, was it? I can't remember, but yeah, he dropped the youngsters for the FA Cup final because they were fit, and that's that's what any manager would do. So it, it is a bit good, but I don't think we'll see Tones of play any minutes. He played for the under-23s last game, and it would be nice to see him start. I think we'll see Foster Mensah on the bench, though, because he has been in and out of the you know the the match day squads well i say in and out i think he was only in for the final one but it would be nice to see him get a start so i'm i'm gonna see what my lineup is with all the information that we've got so uh yeah i'd say in goal romero i mean i would prefer to hear but it, it looks as though romero will get the shout i'd say darmian as a right back now i want to see foster mensa play i really do so i'm gonna say foster mensa alongside smalling give by your rest then played Daily Blind as a left back. He's been dropped in the last two match day squads and it really hasn't worked. Luke Shaw's got a little bit of a knock, so he's not going to play. And Rojo shouldn't be anywhere near this lineup. Midfield, a uh, midfield three of Carrick, um, say, I would have said Carrick and Schneidlin, but against Northampton, it, uh, I don't know. I'm uh, No, I'm going to say Carrick, Herrera, and Mata. And then a forward three of um, Memphis on the left. I think he deserves a start, even though he's been dreadful when he's came on for cameos. He deserves a start, particularly in the League Cup. I mean, this is 
the the I lo I like all tournaments. I want us to do well, but this is the lowest out of the four that we're in. So yeah, he deserves a chance in this one, and he really needs to take it because he hasn't been good for like six months, where he had like one off great games he really needs a game and then i'd say ibrahimovic and rashford marcial had concussion so you could say he's probably out for this game so it's a minor setback minor injury but he should be available for leicester and there's no real need to play him in this maybe put him on the bench and if things are going wrong which i swear to god if they go wrong against northampton wow but um yeah then obviously we've got quality to bring on on the bench and uh, yeah, that is the team I would go with. Now, with Northampton, should have done a bit of research, but I don't really know their key threats. I, I can't remember, does Zach and Fenwell play for Northampton? Did he move to Northampton or from Northampton? I'm pretty sure he played there. No, I think he's at Wickham. He moved from, so he's not there anymore. So I don't actually know their main threats. I probably should have. Since this is the match preview, I, I should have uh, went and researched. But regardless of that, because... We are Manchester United, you know, we're expected to win and surely we've got to win. Surely we've got to end this slump. So, you know what, I'm, I'm going to say 3-0. 3-0 United and oh, please, just show some effort, show some desire. I actually want to win. I don't care what tournament it is, we've had three back-to-back -back defeats. We can't make it a fourth. The players have to start showing that they want to win. Of course, Mourinho has uh, things to improve as well, but the players on the pitch... I can't turn my TV on, but anyway... Uh, the players on the pitch need to do a lot more. So, yeah, I hope they do. And, yeah, 3-0 is my prediction. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And, yeah, peace.